Ohio. Ohio, good morning guys. Today, we're modifying the Evo 5 for the first time ever. You ready? Get your, get your stuff done. Cheers to the, uh, the yes. onigiris. Cheers to the Asa Gohan onigiri. Traditional JDM. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now you know how to take the wrapping off from the total mountain vibes this morning. The clouds are insane from all the weather rolling in last night. Mm -hmm. It looks nuts. I wish we were spending one more day in Hokone. If we had one more day here, that would be perfect. I think you'll say that about Nagano though. Yeah. <laughs> but the good news is we have a very exciting day today. We are officially modifying the Evo for the first time ever. There's something that it desperately needs, but we're heading out of one mountain town to head to another one that we've never been to before, which I am super, super pumped for. And today and tomorrow, we'll get to put the Evo to the test. But first, quick breakfast, and then we're heading to Top Ranks Shizuoka Factory. You know, I've been looking for this morning for so long. Actually. God, I am just so in love. It hurts. so dark and rainy last night, but this is actually where we were driving through in all oh, GTR. Where we were driving through in Hokone. Like I said, I wish we had one more day here to run the Toge, go see Hokone Shrine. That's my favorite shrine that I've ever visited in Japan. But I'm super pumped to go where we're going. And we'll talk about it when the time comes. But in order to get to uh, top rank Shizuoka's factory or facility, we have to go through Hokone. And the drive is absolutely epic. Welcome to Top Rank Suzuoka facilities. If you guys don't remember, Sato san actually ran Top Rank's other facility, which was previously known as PDI, but he moved out to Shizuoka, which is closer to him, and started a brand new facility out here, which he is now running, which is really cool because he has his complete own shop. Now, as you can probably tell, Sato san's specialty is GTRs. As you guys know, has owned this GTR for actually like forever, has built this thing over its lifespan. He specializes in GTR, but the Shizuoka factory specializes in all 90s JDM cars. So engine overhaul, chassis overhaul, engine building. Sato actually builds engines as well. It's really, really cool. So that's why I really wanted to take the Evo here today to show off their new facility and get some work done by Sato He is so knowledgeable with everything and I thought it was the perfect way to start this Evo build off. Now, before we get started on the Evo build, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about my overall plan for getting the Evo built. Now. In case you don't know, this car is registered under top rank as a rental through them. And from that, I'm pretty limited on how far I can go modification-wise 
as far as like power goes. But essentially I'm unrestricted suspension, brake, etc. wise. So really all supporting things that makes a car handle and drive good, I'm free to modify. And that's really what I want for my Evo 5. I don't need it to have crazy power. The car also though is very quick and I'm curious to see if, what modifications it does have because it doesn't feel stock. But my real plan for the Evo is to make the car handle as best as it possibly can. I want, I want the Evo to feel like it is literally on rails. I love driving my cars, I love racing my cars, and that's exactly what I'm gonna build the Evo to do, and I want it, I want it to do that as best as possible. And its current setup, the suspension is horrible. The struts feel like they're blown out, the bushings are very, very squeaky, and in the long run, I'd like a full suspension overall. But for now, let me show you guys what we got. As you guys have seen, the Evo needs a lot. And today, we are fixing probably one of the biggest issues with this car. Now, so aside from the paint, this is definitely what the Evo needs the most currently. And today, we are gonna be doing suspension. Heck yeah, so we got Olin's for the Evo. And specifically because at some points, the Evo kind of feels like the suspension is gonna come out of the top of the strut tower. <laughs> the suspension is so bad in the Evo, the shocks are definitely blown. And with how well this car handles just initially, it needs a proper set of suspension. So we already have the wheels and tires, now we have the actual suspension. And I had to go with Olin's. I wanted something track focused that was gonna be nice for the street and toge, but really when we get this thing on the track, I wanted it to handle amazing so salto san actually recommended we do olin's and that's what we went with so today we're gonna be doing our first mods on the evo lowering it upgrading the suspension bougie coilovers <laughs> Full adjustable dampening adjustment pillow ball top hats Whoa. What I love about Japan, just right to work. Now, let's actually take a look at what the Evo currently has. I had no idea, but it has freaking Bilsteins on it. These things are absolutely blown out. You, you can see the grease leaking and all the rust. It was time. That's why these things feel like they're gonna shoot out the top of the strut tower. As, that is really cool that it comes with Bilsteins though. She needs some love. We definitely need some new brakes. The brakes feel great, but I definitely think they're due for an upgrade. It looks like Project Moo pads actually. It, I, I think so. It yeah, is. you can tell by the color of the pads. Definitely Project New. I would get some new one just because these do look old. Let's check out the undercarriage. Just bone stock down here. Oh, had a little oopsie right there. <laughs> Rust level seems to be like a it's average. Just, it's just surface level. At like average evil surface rust. Yeah, not bad at all. I see much worse. Yeah, like especially here. Yeah. This is like uh giri giri bare minimum yeah it definitely needs a suspension overall though all these bushings and everything but that's the beauty of this we get to focus on suspension and handling and braking even uh some exterior like aftermarket um body kits and stuff like that since we can't really do too much power mods that's what i'm super excited for to just make this thing handle like freaking rails dude the car it's not just any old Bilstein Colovers, it's in a petal. What is that? I don't know what that That's is. That's like a JDM version of Bilstein's. Ooh. So there's a company called a Anna Petal. Does um, is official importer for a Bilstein's in Japan, but they specialize in like JDM, JDM suspension, like cars such as Evos, Dang. GTRs, and stuff. And these well, are like definitely repurpose those. Get them re re oh, rebuilt. Like three, four grand coilovers. Oh. A set, brand new. That's crazy. It's very expensive coilovers. <laughs> <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever. Modifying my Evo 5 in Japan, dialing it in for like specific needs with Sato. I mean, this is way cool. Hi. Hi. Excuse me. Oh, thank you. These are nicer than the old ones I have on my Type R. <laughs> Mine didn't come with pillow ball upper mount or camber top hats or dampening it. Oh yeah, it has dampening adjustment. Yes, it has a dampening adjustment. This is freaking sick, dude. We got a really, really good setup. I'm stoked, Marco. 
This might have been the fastest coilover install of all time. We've been here for a total of 20 minutes maybe and all the coilovers are in. So here's an example of their chassis refresh program that they have going on here. They literally take the entire subframe out and replace all bushings, bolts, everything, essentially making it brand new, which is what I want to do to the Evo. Piece by piece, we're going to build this thing up and step one, got to start with the basics, suspension. But I definitely think we're doing it right. This is going to be the perfect addition for this trip. And like I said, throughout this entire trip, I can drive the heck out of this car and really figure out what it needs. That gets me excited for the next time we come in January. Masa, I'm going to be ordering a lot of parts to you guys. <laughs> Suspension is in. We may have to adjust depending on what the height looks like off the base setup, but it could be good. Usually, Olin's has a suspension set from factory, which would be super nice, but let's take a look at how she looks with the brand new setup. Oh, sick. Sick. Very nice. The maiden voyage. Coilovers are installed. I really wanted Sato to drive this car. Number one, to feel the suspension to see if it needs anything else, but also to see if to see if he also thinks that this thing is in stock because this feels way too fast just to be completely stock. So I'm curious to see what Sato says. Oh, it looks so good lowered now. Wow, super cool. Before they take it out, doing quick alignment check. Just DIY. So sick. I was such a boss just whipping this thing out of there. Getting the suspension all settled in. Oh, it looks so good. They lowered it just a little bit, but I made all the difference. Damn. Before Sato drives this car, we're all gonna get some lunch. And first drive with the new Olins. Let's see how it does. We're going three deep in the car, so this is a true test of the, of the Olins. With plus your luggage. Plus my luggage. Remember how it felt last yes, night? Yes, I know. That's so loud so much. It's oh, like, it's actually quite comfortable. It's so nice. So we put the dampening adjustment uh, two clicks. Stiffer. The, stiffer. Okay, yeah. So yeah. put it in the middle and two clicks stiffer so we can still adjust if I need to. Yeah. But this feels super nice. Yeah. And no rubbing, which is good. Oh, man. This it feels so, so much good. better. Like it's gonna feel so yesterday. Good <laughs> yeah, yesterday was so bad. Guys, I don't think you understand how bad the previous suspension felt. It literally felt like the suspension was gonna come through the strut tower. <laughs> yeah, it was so bad. I think this is like the perfect first mod for the Evo. Yeah. Now, it's like a, now it's like a really good base for the suspension. We can build around that now. Man, this is going to be so epic tonight. It is. Epic. But no rain. No rain and not yeah. gonna be wet tonight. Yeah. So we can actually do full on runs. Oh, yes. Oh, I haven't been to like a traditional Japanese shop in so long. Yeah. Oh, this looks incredible. This is Sato's go to spot here in the area. <laughs> looks delicious. So we got Sankatsu, Sankatsu, and Soba. Two, two of my favorite things ever. Yeah. It's like a. ボリューム見たらちょっと失敗したな。ちょっとこの。ここもマイクちょっとそっとそんでも多分まあ、ファイミーベル。ゲインジャパニーズフード。ベストエッド。ライト。アンドバック。ボイスカット。<laughs> so now we got Sato in the driver's seat. I want him to fill feel out the car, see what he thinks about the car, if we need to make any adjustments, and he can give us a little overview of what he thinks we should do for the suspension as well. But I am curious to see his thoughts and see if he thinks that the car is stock or not. 
い<笑><笑>これ純正じゃないですよねなんか違う気がするタービン違いますよね多分これ純正純正じゃないですか I think it might be a, tur- might be a turbo? I don't know ターボってなんか力強いから It's a very powerful turbo Yeah I told you this thing is not stock I knew it It's fast And we don't know why because it looks so stock in the engine bay、mm. It might be ECU he said サトさん。We're just fixing all the crusty things on this car. I told you guys, chassis refresh is needed. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, we've got a lot of work to do on this car, but that's what makes it so much fun. It's gonna be a build and it's gonna be awesome. So, Santo san thinks that the steering rack might be a little bit loose, some bolts on the steering rack might be loose, just causing like the squeaking noise. He was gonna tighten those up and I think we should be good to go. Successful day. It's better. <laughs> Evo looks amazing with the new setup. We've got the suspension all tightened up. Even some things that were loose have been corrected as well. So it's gonna drive like a whole new car. And I'm stoked. Dude, it's gonna rip on Toke. It's gonna be so amazing. Banger. Banger. Sato san, arigato g o z a i m a s h i t a Bye bye. Thank you. Hi, m a t a n e m a t a n e Ah, so stoked on how good this thing came out. Just that little bit of a drop made such a big difference and made these meaty tires look really good on the Evo 5. Team killed it. I am so pumped. Now it's gonna be perfect for tonight's trip. We have a three hour drive coming up, so this is perfect to do before our trip. I am so freaking pumped. Especially just to go somewhere new. As much as I love Hokone, it's gonna be awesome to go on an adventure in the Evo. And, and we can start the Togei badge collection. Matane! Successful trip. Time to head to Nagano. Quick pit stop on our drive. Look how sick this is. Yeah, how is this just like randomly scattered in Japan? This is freaking Japan. I love it. Awesome. <laughs> Looks very nice though. <laughs> of course, it starts raining, but this is perfect timing while we're taking this little break. Check out what we got coming out for you guys. Now, from the time of this video, I think we might have a week or so until the, the Yellow Evo drop happens, but using this time to get some shots, I knew that we were coming to reveal the Evo, so I brought all of my stuff. And so, this is like a little sneak peek for you guys watching the vlog. You can expect some Yellow Evo drop coming to Legends very, very soon. But we're gonna get some shots here, meet a special guest, and finally go to our location. Head northeast. Look at this thing. Look who it is. Special guest. Oh my gosh. Come here, bro. What's up, man? Dude, this thing looks insane. In thank、life. you. Thank you. Congratulations, thank you. man. Thanks. Two years. Two year <laughs> wait. Yep. Oh. What up, what up? Finally, Abo gets to join us.、Oh. Let me check this thing out, dude. Oh, I was wondering why your thing said、uh, Recaro was on it. Oh, no, but... just the head tap thing. 
Whoa. Before you guys got here, I just installed the Moogan visors. Yeah, I noticed that. These are really nice, dude. And just installed the carbon parts on the inside. Oh! oh. Bougie, bougie. Yeah, Dang, I need these. That's bougie. nice, dude. Let me check this thing out. It looks so good in red. Oh. Even got the OEM carbon bits. That's oh, nice. nice. Sick. Abo got an FL5 and it is beautiful. And this is the color that I really wanted was this. Oh yeah, it's Rally Red in America, Flame yeah. flame Red in Japan. This color is so good, especially for the FL5. It really pops it's so nice. It? Yeah. it does look like a Mugen yes. on our... Right, now we got the OG squad back yes. for Toge Trip. Yes, yes. Now, now yeah, we're we talking. We got the OG squad with a super OG car over here. <laughs> <laughs> Day stop complete, time to get back on the road. We, Like I told you guys, we're heading back into the mountains and we still have a two hour drive, two hour drive ahead of us, but it makes it so much better when you're cruising around in cool cars with your friends. So let's continue on. You just had to bring in the electric car of the boys trip. Now we gotta wait for a charge. But hey us, man, I, I'm I'm being futuristic. <laughs> gives us a experience. good experience. Yeah. Gives us a good good excuse to stop by Super Auto Box. If you guys don't know what this is, it's not gonna be as cool as the one in Tokyo, A Pit, but it's basically Walmart for car guys. Yeah. And something that I really need is a shift knob. And I'm really curious to see if they have any good shift knobs here that we could maybe replace the one. That's in the car, because that one sucks. So maybe we find a good shift knob. Thanks, the <laughs> Oh my god! Whoa, oh what's my up? god! <laughs> Masa, hello! See, look, thanks to me! <laughs> EV power! You EV watch power! You watch the vlog? <laughs> this is this recording? Yeah! Hello! Can I take picture with you? All the way in the middle of Japan. <laughs> oh my. Thanks for watching, I'm man. watching every day. Thank you so much. Sure. Thank every you. Every day, man! <laughs> oh my That's crazy! God. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, man. Appreciate oh my god. it. Thank you so much. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Real Autobox ship you look like. So A Pit is more like uh, a Pit bougie, has, bougie. Has the cool stuff. This is legitimately like a Autobox. consumer Autobox. store yeah. for car guys. It's crazy. This is how anything and everything. Honestly, I need some like windshield wipe. There's so much like little things I could get here. Let's uh, help the stinky JDM stench that this Evo has. I'm gonna get some squash. Okay. Let's try it out. I can't believe you can just come here and like buy raised wheels like this. This will always blow my mind. Just go buy some T37s real fast. Bye guys. Bye <laughs> bye. All right, while we wait for Yushi to pick up his car from charging, let's try this. So this is marine squash. Now, is it gonna be good or do we just need to bring squash from back home? But this car definitely has a distinct sweaty, it's like a, it's like a, like a sweaty JDM stench. Not B.O., but it's it's smelly. All right, let's check this out. Here we go, crack her open. Ooh. Yeah. Probably, it's not terrible, but when we go back home, next time we come to Japan, I'm definitely gonna bring a squash. I'm definitely gonna bring a tree frog. But for now, better than nothing. Got your electro car, dude. Like, how do you know? So we finally made it to Nagano. Yeah, we're in Nagano. We have like a 40 minute drive, but it's great because it's all toge roads. But before you get on the toge, there's a yakiniku shop, which is, you know, you grow your own meat. So we're gonna grab some dinner and then get on the toge. Dude, it like smells like. amazing. I know, toge. <laughs> this is well, one of the, the, the local, 
Whoa. Oh my god. How's this our city? So Yushi's actually from Nagano. Yes. Do you think it's local spots or yes, what? Yes, yes, yes. I do know local spots. A lot of local spots. That's the best. Yeah. Local restaurant. Come on. Yushi? This looks insane. Oh, what is this, Wagyu? Whoa! This looks insane. Whoa, are you fucking huge? Successful meat boys or what? One of the best. Now, time to go to onsen. Look at this. Hey, say. 90s OG. 90s. Very 90s. Toge yakiniku. That's so cool. Dude, this is OG. Alright, Yushi, so. Yes. Toge yakiniku. Oh toge yakiniku is not complete without toge. No, yeah. Dude. So, on the way to hotel. Don't. It it's still good time. So nice. It's way better than oh, freaking Tokyo. Oh no, it's way better than fucking Noda. <laughs> uh, I can't get away from it. Oh, it's so dark. You can't see anything. All right, guys. Well, they wanted to do one quick late night Toge run before we called it a night for tonight just to prepare us for tomorrow. So. Looks like we're taking the evil out real fast before we call it a night. some pretty aggressive pads as well which gives me more confidence in the brakes but we definitely need some upgraded rotors but again that's gonna be the fun part is doing all like the supporting mods like that this is gonna be awesome here we go Yushi, that was freaking intense, man. That was like the realest toge road I've ever been on. Yeah. Look at no one's driven on that in years. That was so sick, dude. Yeah. 
I am glad we did that. <laughs> Ending here at 7-Eleven. I don't think I could picture a more perfect end to our night and crazy day. Yeah, so that's yeah good. you're so much better. I can even see it like sort of even like settling better. Yeah, yeah. because like yesterday you were just like yeah. all over the show when we went to the corner, but today it's like so much better. Yeah. Let's take a look real fast. Yeah, the suspension settled a little bit too. It looks so sick. I think you'll pull the footage as well. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Dude, the fucking up off. Fast. Dude, whenever he, he, whenever we went in and he started flooring it, <laughs> I couldn't keep up. I was in the third. <laughs> yeah, I was in Electric the third. cars. <laughs> Good little run. Oh shit. The smallest elevator I've ever seen. Everybody jump on three. One, two. Don't do that, we'll be stuck here <laughs> forever. <laughs> the dime off. My shoes off. Man. Yeah. This is nice. nice. Three boys on the floor tonight. Oh, yeah. Abel and I are making a masa sandwich. Are we getting yelled at already? Maybe. Hi, Mr. G. So, I usually take a little less. Aaron, Jordy, Mike, Mike. Uh, this is a bandolier on the belt. And I have straps. How many reels do you watch? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> it's been a long week already, guys. I don't know what else to say. I, honestly, like, honestly I wish that was me. No, this is just daily occurrence. <laughs> Well, we've made it back to the Yokon. We're gonna have a masa sandwich tonight. We're all sleeping on the tatami floors. Uh, Alba and I are getting some editing done. Masa is just enjoying himself right here. So this is where we're gonna end it. We had an awesome night ending on Toge, which was sick and just preparing us for what we have going on tomorrow, which is gonna be epic. So stay tuned. The Evo has been so amazing and the new suspension feels fantastic. I just cannot wait to continue the build. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm going to wrap up editing this video here and try and get some sleep. So we'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys have not already, make sure you hit that like button. Leave us a comment down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.